Paul, how happy were you to see the offense pick Jose up when things maybe off the top weren't the best we've seen from him? Uh, you know, I, I give Jose a lot of credit. We talk about maturing at this level. Um, you know, we all saw how he struggled with his uh, curveball command in particular compared to what we've seen. I, I don't know if his strike percentage was maybe the lowest he's had in, in his multiple outings that we've seen. But he, he fought through it. You know, we had a misplay and a 3-0 homer, and that's, you know, we dug a little bit of a hole. Um, offensively, we, we struggled a lot of the night, but we put together one really nice inning. Um, you know, Sano's at bat and Kepler and, um, you know, Escobar, we, we found a way to put up a big number and, and make it stand. You know, you'd like to see your club find a way maybe to add on along the way. But, um, you know, the pitching held up, you know, for Jose to get through six, a quality start. And, uh, you know, our, our three guys at the end did their job. So a, a good win and a good start to the series. And you got another nice uh, performance from Byron Buxton, another multi-hit games. Uh, uh, that one hit in particular where he got jammed kind of up and in and sends it out to right field, how impressive was that kind of at bat, especially when you're talking about him maturing at the plate? Um, it's, a lot about, it's a lot about what he's been working on. I, I think that, you know, rather than being too quick and uh, in a rush, he's really been trying to slow down. And, you know, when you get that ball that's kind of up and in and you can push it out over the right second baseman's head towards right field, you can get a lot of hits that way. Um, it means that you're seeing the ball a little bit longer and staying on it, and it gives him an opportunity to, to hit the off-speed pitches like we saw in the you know the bat, at bat that followed when he hooked the changeup in the left field. So he's had a nice little run here the last handful of games. He's been hit, squaring some balls up, and um, I think his confidence is starting to grow. What would you see from Tyler Duffy? He had to work for that one. It wasn't yeah. the easiest outing from him. Yeah. Um, you know, I, th I think that he, the break will be good for him. Um, you know, he's pitched a lot of s stressful innings for us. And, uh, you know, he had to battle there with two outs after the bases get, got loaded. But he made a couple of nice curveball pitches to, you know, to get the last ground out to get off the field. But um, you can tell when a guy's, you know, searching just a little bit, trying to find ways to get outs. Um, you know, you're not quite as economical. Your pitch count gets up and getting a little bit too fine. So, um, but he battled and he got a zero. So, you know, he did his job. With Jorge getting the start tomorrow, is there a roster move tonight, or is that something we'll find out tomorrow? Uh, we're going to send Busenitz back. Um, we've had some situations throughout the year where, you know, it's it's not anything about performance. He didn't get a chance to pitch this particular time, and I'm sure at times it's frustrating for these these guys, but they see they, they understand. So um, he knows he's on a good track and just go back there and keep himself ready when, when he gets the next call.